I had a guy reach out to me on Facebook looking to sell his old Super Nintendo and a copy of Mario Kart. He's also got a spare controller, but one thing is it's a Super Nintendo Junior console. So we agreed on 60 bucks for it and I came out here. We're about to meet up with them. Let's get it. Hey, you made it. I was like, what? I can't turn into the parking lot. What's going on? I had to go up a couple extra blocks and then flip around. Yeah, yeah actually, I did the same thing. Yeah, I went to the... Uh, uh, actually just went around that this little like triangle block thing because you can go back the back and then there's an entrance right over there oh i had to go up like four or five blocks yep. and then flip around yep. up there yeah anyway so this is it huh yeah take a look two controllers the game i mean it all looks like it's there man yeah all right 60 bucks controller game power cord all that jazz I appreciate it, man. Hope you enjoy. Thank so what, do you have like a side business or what do you do here? I do some eBay. I, I collect. I buy and resell to offset the cost of collecting. So gotcha. that's kind gotcha. of my, my shtick. I don't know if you saw my picture. I got like cabinets and signs and nice. all kinds of stuff. Nice. Well, I appreciate it, man. Yep, yep. If you have anything else, shoot me a message. All right. Really quick, just want to show you guys what I got. We've got a SNES Junior with two controllers, one that goes with the system and then one extra. I know the extra controller is worth like 15 to 20 bucks. And then the SNES Junior console is like a hundred or so. I actually have one of these complete in the box already. And I picked it up for $20 on Facebook Marketplace. Like I want to say like two years ago. And then we also have a copy of Mario Kart. I know this is worth like 30 to 40 bucks. Uh, I just got all this stuff for 60 bucks and the price charting value comes to right around 140. So after fees and ship, there should be room to double up and reinvest that into another pickup or into the collection. So not a bad scoop, not a bad scoop. On to the next. Not a bad trip to the thrift. I honestly wasn't planning on thrifting today, but I'm getting my hair cut next door and I had some time to kill anyway. So let me show you guys what I got. I got Professor Layton and The Last Spectre for Nintendo DS. I paid $1.99 for this. And on eBay, this is going for like 65 to $70 complete. All of these are complete and in great shape. And they're all definitely going right in the collection as well. I've been kind of on a DS kick lately. We got Professor Layton and The Miracle Mask, which is going for like 50 on eBay. I've actually never played any of the Professor uh, Layton games, but they look pretty good. So I'm kind of excited to try them out. Probably won't get around to it for a while, but at least I have them, right? We've got Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box, which is only like 20 bucks on eBay. But when I opened up the case, there's actually another game in here, Professor Layton and the Curious Village, game only, which is like 12 bucks loose. Then we got South Park Fractured But Whole. This one is cheap. Uh, I did pay $6.99 for it, but that's because this is one I actually really want to play. I've been looking for a copy of this for a while, so to find it at the thrift store for 7 bucks, I'm all about that. So, for the four of these games, I paid... What did I pay here? $13.94, if my camera will pick that up. So I paid $13.94 for them, and the price charting value for the four of these is around $150. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'm pretty excited to add a couple of DS games to the collection because I definitely don't find complete DS stuff very often. Really happy with these. That's how we do it. On to the next. My local collecting buddy is actually pretty busy today, but he found a couple of really good deals for me and I'm going to go scoop them up. So the first one is some N64 games and I recognize the address. Uh, I actually bought the N64 console from him like a month ago. So it's gonna be 30 bucks. He had 15 bucks each on him, but he said he would take 30 for all of them, which is kind of strange. But we're gonna go out there and scoop all the 64 games. And then after that, we're headed out to Apple Valley, which is like half an hour from here. And we're gonna pick up a $20 Game Boy with a Donkey Kong box. So 
yeah, it should be good stuff. Let's get it. Yeah, nice. Hi. Hey, how you guys doing? Good, good. Thank you. Have a good day. We should buy one of these. We have those already, dude. What's going on, man? Hey, my buddy sent me for the 64 games. Okay. Yeah, no, this is... So 30 bucks, right? Yes. All right, 30 bucks. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Not a bad deal on the 64 games. I'm going to head out half an hour drive from here and go pick up the Game Boy. So let's get it. Hello, hello. Hello. I'm supposed to be picking up a Game Boy? Oh, yes, there you go. It's a pretty steep driveway you guys have. <laughs> it's for the exercise. It's got to be a lot of fun in the winter, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. It, 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 it entertains the neighbors. Oh, I'm sure. Especially before front, front wheel drive. Right. All right, and it just could make you. I'd be parking down you there. You got to run, you get about right here and then do it quick. And then you go on, oh. <laughs> so and I was like, there's gotta be, I'll try to keep your information for when I'm here in town next time. Cause I was like, where would I put those? I don't think I would have sold them at some point. Right, so you probably got them tucked away somewhere. Well, that's why, but I'm also like, why wouldn't they be in the one spot that I kept? Is also like the weird part that I'm like, but again, kids and grandkids have been all Well, if you come across them, shoot me a message. Okay, right. sounds good. I appreciate good. it. Good luck You're with the sale, guys. At that first sale, we picked up these six N64 games for $30. He had 15 bucks each on them. I'm not sure why he offered them to my buddy for 30, but it's a pretty solid price. I know that Pokemon Stadium and GoldenEye go for about $25 each. So 30 bucks, you know, I'll take that. But Pokemon Stadium is really clean. Typically you see someone's name written right here. So I'm actually gonna end up trading these to a friend of mine out in California who I've done plenty of trades with. And I usually trade for stuff that I don't have for my collection. But 30 bucks for those, not too bad. And then at the second sale, we picked up the Game Boy stuff for 20 bucks. I'm really excited about the Donkey Kong Land box. It's not perfect by any means. There's a big crease right here. There's a little divot in the side, some wear on the back. It is box and manual only, but I do have the game in the house to complete it. And this one's definitely going right in the collection. So I'm really happy to have that. That was a pretty sweet find. And then the Game Boy actually had Super Mario Land inside, which is worth like 15 to 20 bucks. Uh, this one does have some label wear and some marker on it. So I'll probably get closer, I don't know, like 12 to 15 something like that and i didn't put the game boy into price charting because it's missing the plastic cover on the screen and there's some corrosion in the battery terminal so i'll end up selling this one for parts but i should still net like i don't know 20 to 30 bucks on it something like that i didn't put the zoop or the other manuals into price charting but the stuff that i did add the box the two 64 games and the mario land comes to like 90 dollars, something like that so I paid 50 for all that stuff and I had to do quite a bit of driving, but that's just around half price. So I'm happy with that. I'll have some other stuff to bundle with consoles when I sell them and I get to add something sweet to the collection. If you guys know me and you've watched my channel, you know that I'm a big fan of Donkey Kong. So pretty excited about this one right here. Just real quick, wanna say thank you to my buddy Leo for tossing these deals my way. Couldn't have got them without you, buddy. On to the next. That's going to be it for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing and on to the next.